Greetings everyone and welcome back to a very festive Backpack Hero. Look at all, well I guess there's a tinsel maybe, or, well it's not, definitely not wreaths. What, what, what are the, uh, the equivalent of wreaths that you kind of string across your mantelpiece, but instead of actually being in a wreath shape, I'm, I'm honestly not sure what that's called. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, welcome back everyone to a standard run in hopes of finding Tote. Now, since the last episode I have received a couple of comments that pointed out one thing I didn't do was I didn't check the map after defeating the boss, and it is very likely that Tote existed in that area. And I am so disappointed in myself, but I just clicked on the exit point because that's effectively what you what we've been trained to do when it comes to defeating the last boss in the last area. So uh, perhaps I will have to uh, try and work that into my muscle memory. Again, I played this game a lot back in uh, the early access and so there's a lot of things that i do just automatically that have changed since uh, the the game has gone into full release one of them being parcel and, and actually using that service to send things back to the town i'm still working on getting better at that hopefully we will get uh, get that all worked in properly before the end but uh, we're going to start off this run by going to the bramble of course because i want to go to the enchanted forest i don't think there is actually any particular a requirement to go one path or the next. Oh, this is very festive indeed. An actual reason. But uh, I don't think there's any particular um, requirement to go one way or the other in order to get to the a specific second level destination. I actually think that would be kind of cool, if I'm honest. All right, let's have a look at you. Oh, hello, possum. Um, pray for him. There we go. You know the prayer for him? Uh, your good deed strengthens you. Oh, he was actually dead this time. Oh. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Thank you very much for the maximum HP, though. Right, let's go and have a uh, quick fight, because I want to get some experience before I grab anything. Oh. While I didn't include this in the recording, maybe I'll include it at the end of the uh, recording. But even the intro is very festive. Like, they've changed out the instrument set to a much more festive collection of instruments. It, it's actually quite glorious. Right, let's uh, just try and get a bunch of damage in nice and early. This is going to be fairly easy. I'm pretty certain I'm not going to be able to do much in the way of your damage. No, just one point of damage. Well, that's fine. Now you're going to try and block. There we go. And we get our level up. And of course, always going for uh, expanding at the top there, but this time I'm going to expand out to the side. There we go. We get our win. And what did we get? I'm not interested in that mana stone. Not even slightly. And what else have we got? We have got a shoe hat that we are going to place down here. There we go, nice four block, passive. Uh, we do have a helmet. I'm not really that interested in it. And taking keys on the first level, not something we need to do just yet. Uh, do I want to bring along a warm drink? Well, we'd actually be um, holding on to this for quite some time, it seems. Uh, though, whenever something is destroyed, so we kind of want, uh, want to go for things that we can break down. But taking this warm drink back is a reasonable one. Yeah, we actually need the warm drink as well. So uh, we unlock tea. Well, I mean, that's a guarantee then. Uh, frothy drink is now our number one priority. Everything else is secondary to find, even tote is secondary to finding a frothy drink. Okay, gotcha. Thank you very much, game. You have uh, opened my eyes to the possibilities before us. Oh, well, I may as well bring this along just because I can. Right, okay, let's uh, be on our way then. And let's go and see what's going on over here. Uh, we've got a better shield, in my opinion, by far. Uh, we will absolutely be taking this. I will be bringing along the ring, and I will also be bringing on another throwing star. I could perhaps bring along the poison, but... Mm, well, sure, we'll uh, swift, uh, switch those ones around. That works out for me. Okay, let's get into this, and we'll start seeing how this works. I really love those little bells. Right, uh, well, uh, three to poison any, doubles poison on enemies. Well, let's start off by throwing this. Thank you very much. I will accept. And then we're going to throw this. Oh, it disables for the rest of combat. Of course, yes. So we really do want to use a, a proper um, setup for that one. Right, you're already going to die. Uh, you're not going to get through my shield. And we'll uh, put a little bit of extra damage on you. There we go. Not a bad one there. And, oh, I should have gone the other way because, of course, you just ran away. That does mean we got the win, but it doesn't mean we get anything particularly good out of it. We've got another warm drink. Hmm. 
That might be useful. Uh, do I want an apprentice staff at this point? That wouldn't be a bad call. It does one less damage for the same amount of room, but it does give us one extra mana. So I think we'll definitely be taking that. I, I mean, I guess we've got two rings for now. I'll grab you, and I can take one more item. Uh, I guess we'll take another warm drink, sure. There we go. Let's just make sure we don't confuse the warm drinks with the poison vial. That would not end well. All right, let's get into our next fight then, shall we? Uh, okay, so we've got a bee over here. don't want you to be around for too long, because you will cause me trouble. Uh, let's open up with this, see what we get. We've got a toxic kunai. Not a bad pick, if I'm honest. Uh, let's throw that. There we go. And then wallop you once or twice with this should be ample. Uh, in fact, you're already going to go down. Uh, so now I can focus on just defending. There we are. I can even grab this to heal some HP, which I kind of want to. Sure. Oh, that would have been an interesting one. We'll see what happens here, though. But I can throw this just to do a little bit of extra damage. And since you're going to defend on the next turn, I may as well. There we go. I should have a look and see if any of the empty cups are necessary. I should have checked that before I uh, made, uh, before I threw it away, honestly. Ooh. Now, how much damage are you going to do? I could tank the four damage to pick this up. Uh, if there's an adjacent weapon... Minus two damage, but deals four damage to all enemies. Now, this is a better weapon for me in just raw damage output. This one will be better in groups. It's a tricky one, honestly. I think we're just going to stick with this, though. Yeah, let's just finish you off. There we go. All right, now let's expand this out a little bit more. There we go. Make some more room for hats and shoes. Now, we've got in a rare ninja star. For each shuriken in this row or column, plus one damage. Our new steals six damage and is destroyed. Is there anything down here I particularly need? Well, I mean, we've already got those, I suppose. Uh, we've got a regen potion. It is uncommon. Let me just double check this. Uh, create an item of the same size. Not necessarily the same rarity, though. Which is a bit of a, a, bit of a, a shame with that. Uh, we are absolutely going to try and bring along the TNT, though. Uh, it can be a very, very nice item. Uh, I guess the Ninja Star, definitely not going to leave that behind. Uh, do I want this one? I could bring it. The brick wall is a difficult one to use this early on, I would say. So I think this is a, the better option. Oh, that being said... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll we'll keep this right now. The rings are fine for the time being. Well, the nice thing about a one tile something that gets destroyed is quite a lot of these are accessories that only take up one tile. Now we've got a decent amount of damage incoming, so I'm going to use some haste. Let's that, get that on the go. Another shield. Uh, I mean, I guess uh, not really what I wanted, but all right. Now we've got oodles of uh, defense now and then we can just follow up with a couple of regular hits they're not going to get very far with them sadly but it's fine uh, and that haste is going to take a long time to wear down uh, we are almost completely defended uh, I will go ahead for the complete defense though I don't uh, I don't intend to take any damages early on for no good reason there we go 10 incoming damage defend again we should be able to almost work our way through you. And on the next turn, we will be able to finish you off. There we are. And finish you off we shall. And now we can just focus on raw damage. Uh, but the end of this combat, I doubt you're going to be doing enough damage to get through my defenses. No, you were not. But at this stage, we're just going to get rid of that. There's really no reason for me to bring it along. Dynamite, 100%, because this is going to work absolutely amazingly with my current build. Uh, let's pop you down there so I can use that when I'm ready. We have got the rough whetstone. That is an option. I could get rid of the heart ring. Do I really want to though? Uh, there's a good reason to, I suppose. Uh, I could grab the flowers. I could use the rough whetstone here since that will buff both things. Or alternatively, hmm, for each hurricane in this row or column, plus one damage. But it will get destroyed when it gets used. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm really not sure. But I think bringing this along makes sense. I am going to sacrifice one of these. I guess I'll pop that one there and this one could get a little bit of extra damage. That's fine. Right, okay. Let's make our move. I didn't check if anything was needed for research. My bad. Right, down to the next level we go.
Starting to get a decent uh, pocket of resources over there. Uh, we don't need the health, so I'm just going to leave that there, but I will clear out the enemy while we're here. A decent amount of incoming damage here, actually. Uh, I could just go ahead and destroy this, deal 20 damage to all enemies, would wipe out most of them, and would get rid of this. Pop. Right, what do I get? I got the damage knife. Not the best thing of all, but that's fine. Deals 8 damage when out of uses is destroyed. It's got 3 uses though, and uh, can be used for free. So first and foremost, going to take care of you. Secondly, going to take care of you. And then the third use, I'm going to save up until later. Right, you're still going to do 10 damage, but I'm going to deflect that. In fact, I can finish you off, honestly. Um, oh, well, not quite, but uh, I can still do damage is what I meant to say. There we go. Am I going to be able to get through this? Uh, not enough to uh, to go for that. We'll, we'll hold off first. I'll let you do this bit of damage here, and then we will finish the fight. There we go. And a level up. For our trouble. Right, time to start expanding out a little bit in all of these wonderful directions. Oh, really? Another another blade? Uh, right, well, we've got a tunic here, which is definitely worth us grabbing. That's five slow to all enemies. That's five weak to all enemies. This is apparently needed for our research specifically to get the dodge potion. Anything else here specifically needed for research? We have got the brick that is specifically needed for research. Okay. That'll eventually give us brick path. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, right. Well, what, what on earth is... Why is that in there? Um, arrow rare. It's complete... Rare or legendary? Why is this... <laughs> I have no idea why that's showing up in there. Uh, but okay. <laughs> I guess. Uh, let's shimmy some things around a little bit. Now, I would very much like to bring this along so that we've got some extra passive block. And we can pop this down here. It does mean I'm going to need to move those about just a little bit, but that should be okay. Uh, I'm also going to have some more of my items that I don't want to lose down here as well. I suppose I could uh, put the weapon over there. Not that I'm looking to use it for now. But let's just keep these items over here since all of these uh, are important for something. Uh, we will try and keep hold of this, but there is a good chance that I let that one go. I'm not going to keep hold of that to the uh, to the loss of something more important to me. But this seems like a reasonable setup for the time being. Right, let's go and see what you've got going on over here. Uh, okay. This uh, grape flavor, delicious. We, I'm not, that's not how purple snails work. I don't even know about purple snails. I, I can't even think of any snails that happen to be purple. All right, this will do eight damage. Let's increase that a little bit, shall we? Uh, you're going to do 15 damage to me, so let's get a block in there as well. Uh, and then another bit of damage so that this will get through your defense. There we are, and we get a hat. Palamus or armor, each row below adds two block. Okay, that definitely needs to be up there, but I guess we're not getting there. Not easily, anyway, but that's not a bad hat. All right, let's see what you're going to do. You're going to summon someone. This would be a turn for me to reorganize if I absolutely was certain about it. It's also a good turn for me to just lay into the enemy here. Uh, right now, we're only getting plus three block. The tunic is helping, but uh, I'm actually going to use this opportunity to reorganize. Sure. Let's finish that reorganization. That's now going to give me nine block a turn. That's a really, really good exchange. Yes, we're going to have to deal with something else. And now you're going to use some goo on me as well, which uh, I'm not, not best pleased with, going to be honest. Uh, let's see. I'm going to up my damage output a little bit. I could up my damage output quite a lot if I really wanted to. The goo is going to be annoying, but it isn't the worst thing in the world. Um... Sure, let's go for two sets of nine there. I think that's fine. Right, where are we putting these? I don't really care if these get slimed. I'm not going to be going for them for a while. All right, there we go. And I would like... How much damage are you doing? Not enough. Let's finish you off. There we are. Now, you're going to be doing 13, but it doesn't matter. We can easily tank that much damage. Now, this will expand out over my shuriken. I've got two more turns of the goo expanding without me caring about it. Yeah. At this point, I might want to get rid of it. So... 
what are you going to cover? You're going to cover most of this, but that will still be active. You will also cover the loot box, which I don't care about. You'll also cover the re the the um, rough whetstone. So I do want to, to sort that out, but that's going to finish the fight for me. So I don't really need to worry about it too much. There we are. That wasn't too bad at all. Right, we got a guppy. We need a fish, actually. Quite a lot we need a fish. Um, look, I have, I have made that poor fisherman wait so long. I don't, I can't, in good conscience, make them wait any longer. Damn it, why does everything here, why do I need it all? Adjacent to diagonal arm, gets plus one block, adds seven block. That's actually better, so that's fine. If we have a look at you. So we're going to be able to go up to the king shield. All right, I like the look of that. I like the look of that a lot. I will sacrifice that shuriken in order to get the guppy. And we're going to hold on to the guppy this time, hopefully. Uh, the shiv can be used one time each turn, deals two damage. I mean, that is a rare item, which would be good in a shop. Do I really need this for anything? We've already got that. So no, we absolutely don't need that right now. That's a that's a, a lie. You're telling me fibs, game. How very very rude. Uh, if we have a look at the map, we can uh, we can't quite get to that shop yet. We'd have to get through one more fight in order to get to the shop. But I think holding on to this for one more fight should be fine. Do I have anything that I can use up this turn? I don't. Otherwise. That's a bit of a shame, but uh, I'm not going to use this guppy. I refuse. We're going to carry this one to Parcel. That's on the next floor. And then finally, our poor fisher friend will finally, finally get their bloody fish. And they've been so patient. Hello. All right. You are needed to be gone. And we're up to 20 block a turn. This is absolutely wild. All right. Let's uh, start wailing in there. And I'm just going to allow them to, to do their best. They will, of course, fail. It's at this point that moving this down starts to have a benefit. Well, no, I think this one still is the better option there. All right, we'll buff up once, and then we'll start working on the one that is going to regenerate. We don't want them to stack up the regenerate options, because that is going to increasingly be a pain for us. You are going to get off the goo. But again, we can just have the goo expand out from this side. It's not going to be a problem. We'll definitely have finished you off before that's an issue. This goo isn't going to be able to expand at all. Only this one will be able to. And there we go. And finish the job there. And start working our way through you. Fairly simple set of fights for us right now. Nothing we really need to worry about. There we are. Uh, on the turns where you add block, of course, it takes us a little bit more effort to get through, but that's fine. What we really want is the true whetstone, so this is a per combat. Uh, sorry, the upgrade is for the entirety of the combat. Uh, we're going to be able to get through it. Sure, and then the, on the next turn, it doesn't matter what happens. We will win the fight anyway, so let's just finish that off. There we go. Destroying the goo is getting us items. I just realized where those items were coming from, and that is absolutely marvelous. Right, you are giving us adjacent to diagonal armor gets plus one block and adds six blocks per turn. This one would give adjacent to diagonal armor gets plus two block, and adjacent weapons get plus one damage and adds two block per turn. Less block, certainly, but more damage on weapons and generally I prefer this one. Oh my lord I was just talking about you well 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 this one obviously is a goner we don't need it okay um we've got a bit of a choice here then uh let's shimmy some things around a bit I'm going to sacrifice you we had some glorious block it was true but I feel, ultimately, this is the better option. That's 7, this is 11, that's 3, this is 4. Uh, if this is on the top row disabled, each turn adds 2 block. I mean, I could shimmy these around a little bit more once we've expanded things out, so maybe bringing this with us isn't an awful idea. Uh, we could... Hmm, just swap these around just a tad. 
in order to have the wand in here. Now, I would need mana at this point, which becomes a bit more of a concern, but there we go. Now, <laughs> obviously, we need all of these. So what are we giving up? I'm not giving up the tea. That's, that's as simple as that. What will this give me? This will give me the large heart ring. When added, adds 10 max HP and removes 10 max HP when you lose it. Okay, that's, that's very nice. Uh, we've got the debuff potion, which would give us the dodge potion. I will sacrifice that for T. Uh, Tote is coming with us, obviously. I don't want to get rid of the feather cap. This has given us an enormous amount of of, uh, of block. I guess we could lose the shoe in exchange for the guppy, because I'm not going to leave that behind. I refuse. I suppose the other thing is we could just hold on to the wand for now. We're not far away from our next level up. If we hold on to the wand and bring this with us, then I can at least sell it. And that's effectively all I was holding on to it for. I think... Yeah, I think this is this is a decent decent setup here. This hat by itself isn't the best thing. For each row below adds plus two. Sure, that's great. But for each row below adds one. However, this is taking up two times the space. If I just had two iron helmets, then that would equate to the same amount. Um, but that is worth an awful lot. We'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll, I think this is the way we're going to have to do it, though. Having the whetstone is huge. However, this is absolutely bonkers good for us. In fact, it doesn't really even matter where that goes. I could have that positioned any which way I like. Right, okay, we're finished choosing them. Let's uh, head on out. We've now got access to the store. We've also got an unknown event is here. Ooh, very interesting indeed. I want to see what I have today. Yes, I do, actually. Yes, I do. Okay, you've got the regenerative whetstone. Can be used one time each turn. On use, adjacent weapons get plus one healing. For the rest of combat, I believe. Okay, these two things together are absolutely fantastic. We've also got the Poison Whetstone. Can be used one time each turn. Adds one poison to self, but weapons in this row get plus three poison this combat. Wow, the Whetstone game going on right now is wild. This is an interesting one because it doesn't give regeneration. It gives straight up healing. And so as you build this up, each time you use your weapon, you will heal for the amount that has been built up on it. Now, we can afford it. I could end up with just a, a full whetstone build over here. Uh, sure, we'll pop that in there. Um, I could get rid of the feather cap, I guess. Uh, it wouldn't be... Well, actually, no, it would be enough for us to get the poison whetstone as well. But this loses a lot of block. I don't think we can give up that block so easily. I would like to, but we can't. I need some more room to be able to do this. So first things first, we're gonna head on down here. Going to grab the experience points. There we are, don't need the gold right now. We're gonna get into another fight and see what that is to see. Hello. Okay, so the Crow Bandit, uh, you're gonna be adding a lot of regeneration. Also, you've got a dodge. You've got a decent amount of damage incoming, which I'm you know, not as greatly happy about. Uh, but we are going to use this once each turn. And sure, I'm just going to place a little bit of healing on this. Oh, was this adjacent? Oh, it was adjacent, damn it. I got uh, got a little bit too uh, too happy thinking that all the wet stones were in the row. Never mind. We don't really need it for this battle, but that was a bit of wasted, uh, wasted energy there. My bad. And then I <laughs> used it on the one that was going to dodge. Oh, this entire turn has been a wash. I was so distraught. That's fine. Right, you're gonna steal some from us. That's not okay. We're just going to rob you of your life and then start working our way through you. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. There you go. Use that once again. This is now up to 16 damage a hit. Absolutely bonkers. Whetstone builds are crazy. And if you can get whetstone builds plus a lot of shivs, even more so. Right, well, let's take this out the full distance and at this point I would like to let's see let's start expanding out in this direction sure all right what items have we got here at this stage I'm actually starting to look for something that is going to give me the ability to uh, 
uh, uh, get some more uh, passive block, really. That's where I'm, I'm looking for right now, or what I'm looking for. Adds 12 block on use, but 3 burn to self. Now, 3 burn to self would get um, removed. This I could set up down here, perhaps. Uh, it can be used one time each turn. This is also needs specific uh, research, and that will give us the chipped sword. Deals 8 damage, plus 1 to the energy cost this turn. Okay, that's not terrible, but also not amazing either. Uh, are any of these particularly needed? I don't think so. Okay, well, I'm, I'm fine with trying to set that up then. Uh, shimmy all of this down. We'll pop that one over there. I still need to get somewhere, or somehow, to set up a, uh, a mana stone over here. And perhaps for that reason, I should go for something that is more uncommon than this. The machete is a nice item to have. But really, I would very much like to have the Poison Stone. And everything else here I kind of need. Mm, it's a difficult choice. I guess we'll keep the machete just in case we've got one more or two more fight. Oh, we've got another merchant. Huh. Let's go and see what you have to sell. Right, you've got a rocket silo. Okay. You've got a present. Keep it until you find someone who needs a gift. Huh. That's an interesting one. Perhaps... We could take that. And another one. All right, I'm kind of liking these. Can we use one time each combat? On use deals 25 damage. On take damage, this item is refreshed and can be used again this combat. Mm. None of these really jump out of me, but... <sighs> Am I genuinely gonna... No, we're on the next area, we're gonna get rid of a bunch of these things, hopefully. Um, at least these two can go well, actually all three of these can go away at that point It's just such a shame that I'm going to have to forego getting the poison stone for it Is there any other way? I guess I could just say goodbye to the wand. It's not like we're using it right now But that's not gonna get me the money that I need Huh, uh, is there any other way we might be able to do something about this sure? Okay, let's uh, say goodbye to the wand There we are. Let's just start looking for things to sell at this point we are looking for the most valuable items that I can get. Uh, you can come along. You're not going to get me anymore. You can come along as well then. All right, let's uh, head on back. These are not the best items to sell because they're fairly low value. But uh, that's everything that I can sell to you. I need one more gold to be able to afford the poison stone. Anna, bless us, everyone. A tiny squeak calls out, please, backpacker, do you have any winter solstice gifts for me? Sorry, kid, I understand, he says, wiping the grime from the dirty pads of his paws. You have to be good to get gifts, and I guess I have... God damn it, I wanted that poison stone so badly. You... Ah... I can't not, okay? In fact, I'm gonna get both of them. There you go, give a gift. You can have both. Oh, thank you, he cries out. Here, yeah, I found this when it was laying in the gutter. Once you've held it once, you might start seeing this item everywhere. Anna bless us, everyone. Uh, okay, tinsel. Must be played on armor, a shield, or a structure. On use, plus three block this combat to the item that is displayed, and then is destroyed. Uh, sure, okay. Uh, would, you, would you like something else? Give a gift. There you go. You can have both. Oh, thank you, he cries out. Yeah, I found this when I was lying in the gutter. Uh, what do we got? Gingerbread rat. Festive, consumable, on use, adds great luck, heals five. Okay, well, I mean, both of those are okay things. Uh, I will use this, but I'm going to sell that one. Um, I, I can't. Plucking at my heartstrings, game. So rude. Uh, you can have that. Uh, doesn't bring us anywhere close to where I need it to be. I could sell this for three. It gets me a little bit closer. And then it... Ooh, how many things have I sold to you? Can I sell it? Oh, no. Well, there go my hopes and dreams. Oh, well. I guess we can still possibly get some money. Let's go and see what's in this chest. Alright, we've got a reversal amulet. Not needed for anything, not needed for anything. Not really. This is what I get. I'm being punished right now, chat. 
punished, I say. Oh, well, they can they can have some more presents. I guess that's a, a gift-wrapped box. Give another gift. Here you go. Oh, thank you, he cries out. Here, I found this item in the gutter as well. You found a present in the gutter? <laughs> Why are you asking me for presents when you have them? Uh, mistletoe. Weapons below. Get plus one chop. Oh, that's now that's an interesting one. That's a very interesting one. I actually find that super, super cool. Okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm going to need that one to be in a gym. <laughs> well, this didn't turn out the way I was expecting, okay? But I don't mind it. Hello, what are you trading? Your snout, uh, your snout wrinkles as you inhale a musky odor. Someone here is in need of a bath. You turn around and standing there is a rat. You've never heard him come out. Let's make a trade, he says. I'll give you a rare item of the same type, he chuckles. There are no guarantees. <sighs> well, I mean... Yeah, a legendary item, I suppose. I don't think legendary can become more legendary, sadly. Sure, let's say this. What do we get? A heavy blade. Absolutely not worth it. That's fine. It's fine. I, I don't mind. I'm, I'm past minding. This, this did not turn out as I had hoped. Alas, we're just ever so slightly not close enough. Ah, damn it. Absolutely won't take any more items. What about you? Is, is there even a slim chance? No, won't take any more items. Well, we were close to having the ultimate apprentice staff. But not close enough, it seems. Moving on, then. Right. Bramble finale. Let's get our fight on. Hello. The Hawk Knight. Noble. Screechingly loud. Pretty annoying, really. Fair. Right. Tinsel. We're going to use you. Tonk. There we are. Uh, adds, oh, adds 10 block. But uh, did we not get anything from that? Uh, apparently we did not. Interesting. I thought that was going to give me something back, but uh, uh, apparently that is a big, big old no. All right, well, uh, let's use this. And sure, let's use that as well. And then start wailing on you. Now that is going to apply three poison this turn. We are going to be able to get through that by building up the healing on this staff. There we go. Uh, do I also want to use this? Sure, may as well. There we go. I'm slowly building up the charm, but the charm isn't going to matter because I can't build up more than one, sadly. I need multiples of this. Right, we have to use this every single turn to build up our ability because eventually this is just going to keep scaling. Uh, it will make sense for it to stop adding the... Well, no, honestly, it makes sense for us to just keep going. Right now, we will outheal all of the incoming damage, but they will outpoison us eventually. There we go. And our damage is just scaling up over time. There we go. And we're going to continue to heal through it. There we are. It would be amazing if this could just. If we had two. Ah, I should have gone for two tinsels. Uh, two mistletoes. That would have been. Absolute marvelous, because then gradually over time we would have been able to build up the uh, the necessary charm on our enemies. Yep. Now at this point, how much damage are we doing? We are doing a whopping twenty-eight. So we're going to just finish this. Uh, so I'm going to use that and whomp. there we go. We win and we get something out of it. Now we can get the egg timer. All weapons get this effect on applied on use. Plus one damage is combat. But each turn we lose two HP. That won't be too much of a problem with this. Because the healing on this stuff is unlike regeneration. If you apply regeneration, that ticks down. Healing is just done. And it doesn't tick down on the staff. So as long as uh, three turns in, I would be out healing this. Organized list. Minus three energy to the cost of reorganizing in combat. On reorganized, disabled for one turn. Huh. That's interesting. When an item is destroyed, adds one energy. Disabled for one turn. Hmm. Both of those are quite good. Um. But this one is going to allow us to scale even faster. So it has to be that one, I feel. 
Alright, parcel. Uh, how much room have I got in my backpack? Not that much, so we're going to go to parcel first. Hello. I would like you to take this back for me. I would like you to take this back for me. And this as well. Is there anything else I would like to take? Nope, I think that's all we're going to be sending for now. Now let's go ahead and check out. and might be able to go back to parcel in a moment. Ooh, lucky. <laughs> got another. Oh, well, that is quite the interesting option um huh now the problem here is i've got two items that need to be adjacent do i really need two whetstones i the answer to that question is a simple no uh do i want two whetstones now that is a different answer um to get the adjacency here let's shimmy you across a little bit uh, because then I can put that down there. I can slide that in there. Uh, Tote has obviously got to stick with us. I'll take the uh, to haste and then is destroyed. I mean, I, tr I can send two fish. There's no, no reason not to. Oh, no. Okay, you can only do that once. Duly noted. Hello. I would like you to give me some extra health, if that would be okay. Since I had to say goodbye to a ring. Now, which way are we going? We're going to the Enchanted Swamp. Of course, let me just double check that I've got everything I need. Yes, I do. We're probably going to sell that second whetstone, though it does allow me to increase the uh, scaling of my weapon twice as fast. All right, let's, oh, I should have gone there. That was a bad move. I probably missed out on that money now. Uh, what do we got over here? We've got a hungry mana stone. Can be used one time each turn. Must be placed on an item. On use, items this is played on are destroyed. Adds one mana for each space the destroyed item occupied. Each combat empties mana. That uh, isn't great. Moves one energy and adds four mana to a connected mana network. Not a bad one if we didn't already have this. Got the ring there, which I, which I would like. Uh, is there actually anything here that I need? For any reason, I don't believe so. Other than you keeping on showing up, but it's just showing us that we haven't done the research there. I think that's fine. Right, well, we need to try and get down there if we can. So let's see if we've got enough time. Right, the hex, I'm not at all concerned about. You're doing nine damage, not going to be an issue. Let's just double use this. I'm not going to use the heal stone for now, because if I did, I'd have no energy left, but uh, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll start ticking that up if I absolutely need to. Alright, when your turn ends, minus one to the energy cast. On use, destroyed. I'll place it on the fish. Because we don't intend to use that one just yet, though I guess at this point I absolutely could. Without any concern. You're going to add some spikes. Ooh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Yeah, I probably sh should try and get rid of you sooner rather than later. I'll uh, disable tote. Let's buff up again. Let's uh, start wailing through. Okay, next turn you're gone. That stops being an issue for me. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here, but that's fine. Right, at this stage I want to start buffing my staff. Let's just get rid of you. There we are. Then we're going to add in a bit of health there and do... Well, no, that's, that's fine. The, the hexes, they can now be gotten rid of. And they should generate something. <laughs> they do. We actually need this one. Damn it. For the Swamp Buckler. <sighs> what do I want to say? Honestly, the Mistletoe isn't that useful for me. Um, no, that's Tote. Uh, I guess we'd get rid of the fish then. There we are. We want a, another bit of healing there. I'm going to buff my shield once more. There we go. As long as we've got the shield, then the the spikes really aren't going to be a concern for us. There we are. And we got some extra tinsel. Not that we really need it. Right. Oh, we've actually got a proper mana stone now. Okay, so this is no longer necessary for me. And also, that would have been better on that row, and I remember now why I put it there. Um, in fact, although this is giving us plus one... Oh, well, I'd need it for something. Damn it. All right. We'll keep it then. Uh, is there anything else here that I need? Uh, no, nothing else really seems to be standing out. That's fine then. Uh, what are you needed for? 
You're needed for the ruby. Adjacent weapons get plus four to... Okay, well, that's absolutely worth me, me holding on to then. Okay, finish that up. Now, can we get there in 11 turns? We can. Marvellous. All right, I will take him. Okay, well, we've got a fair number of items in my backpack and uh, quite a lot of them I want to shift. But I no longer can. I guess we could get rid of one whetstone, if nothing else. But having this add some extra regeneration, I think, is a pretty solid one. I'm going to need a lot more combat to be able to get to the, the next tier. We're up against the speaker once again. Let's head on over here. Hello, hello, hello. I would like to sell one of the whetstones, please. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I haven't got the room for you, which is a shame because I wouldn't mind the extra block. Honestly, I, I just want to free up room in my inventory at this point. Uh, there's no, no real other reason for, for this. Uh, that seems fine. We can go down and check out which one of these has something. Uh, it really is anyone's guess which one to go for. Oh, hello. <laughs> Bloody crab mimics hermit crab mimic. Oh, I did say I wanted some extra damage, so that's not too bad. Let's uh, get some healing on the go for now also going to pop in a little bit of regeneration we should now be fine and frankly i can afford to just build up for this one go ahead a little bit more healing a little bit more damage wall up you and then put in a bit more regeneration now you're going to do 20 damage i'm going to want to with, uh, avoid that wherever possible. Going to need a wallop you to get the regeneration going as well. There we are, up to four regen. And each hit is getting us three HP. You're going to do a bit of uh, defense now, so I can afford to use both of my whetstones before I use my wand. Yeah, there we are. We're almost back up to full health again. All right, from this point onwards, we don't really need the, the health anymore. And I can just focus on just doing more damage. I can still add the regeneration. That's not going to be a problem. Don't really need these, given that I've got that whetstone, frankly. But I don't really see much of a reason not to. There we are. And on the next turn, that's it for you. Oh, did I? <laughs> I didn't use it properly, did I? Ah, uh, well. Let's use that now. And wallop. There we go. Get our items. Uh, we've got some more presents. We've got another bronze breast. We've actually got a battle ring. Jason weapons get plus one damage this combat, and that one is needed for research. Already got it, actually. The Ring of Rage. Never mind then. Um, but I am starting to feel that uh, adding this in is not a terrible idea, since I don't always want the want, the uh, the regeneration. So this will just give me a little bit more scaling besides. There are some presents here, though. Is there anyone that I need to give the presents to? No, not yet, anyway. I'm tempted to take them and just have one in my inventory, but realistically, right now, we're, we're so tight on space. I'd honestly take an extra bronze player's plate if I could, but uh, sadly, that's not on the cards. Let's go and see what this event is going to be, though. I'll let the good times roll. No. Goodbye. All right. Okay, so opening up, we've already got enough protection, so I'm going to just use this. I'm going to use this one as well to buff a little bit more, and I guess, sure, I will put one level of healing on the wand anyway. There we go. And this hex can go, uh, can exist on tote. There we are. And not on tote, you understand. Uh, that's, uh, not, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, it is what I said, but it's not what I meant to say. So uh, you should really only, uh, only judge me based on what I, uh, what I meant, not what I said. That's absolutely not true. I should take more time to think about what I'm saying. Nevertheless, I, for the, the, the sake of this conversation, that is, in fact, what we're going to go with. Also, that was an awful... Um, well, I guess it wasn't too bad because it is still building this up, but I, I really should have kept that attack still because I'm going to take the, the poison damage regardless. I'm not going to be using that, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Now, you're going to start regenerating. I would like a little bit of extra damage here. That doesn't cost me anything. I'm going to use this. going to wallop you. Then I'm going to add a bit of regeneration so that I can outdo the po incoming poison. Now, what are you going to do here? 
Oh, that's such a pain. I'll pop it there. Um, since it doesn't completely cover anything, it won't disable them. Uh, 12 incoming damage, nothing I need to worry about right now. Let's wallop you once, let's wallop you twice. I'm going to use the regen to out, uh, out regenerate the incoming poison damage. And we are more poison damage on the way, that's alright. Wallop you, activate that, wallop you again. There we go, looking very nice. We're now doing 35 damage with this staff. Single weapon builds. As long as you've got the supporting items, uh, they are completely broken in the most glorious of all ways. Now, uh, let's see what we get. Ooh, that's absolutely worth the upgrade. Uh, we've got a bowl of fruit, sells for 10 extra. We have got the slime hand. When an adjacent item kills a non-summoned enemy, it creates a common item. Huh. Hmm. It says an adjacent item. That's what I want to get rid of for this. Because I actually really do want to bring this along. Is there anything I can sacrifice? I The battle ring is an option. Uh, if I get rid of this, then it becomes a possibility. Oh, does this have to be an item that it's adjacent to? An adjacent item kills an enemy. Uh... Is there any such item here that will work? I, huh. I'm not sure how this one is going to function, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, I'm a little bit uncertain of this. Did we did we already send the debuff potion back? I think we may have, but uh, I'll bring a second one along anyway. Um, this is good enough. We'll just have to rely on the regenerative whetstone for our, our healing needs. Uh, I think that should be okay for now. Okay, finish choosing. Yeah. All right. Onwards then. Oh, actually, was there... Did I want to shed something? I mean, I could shed the slime hand. Nothing is showing up as item. I, I mean, I think item is literally anything. So, you know what? I, I was thinking about taking it and selling it. But, because it's a legendary item, it'll get us a lot of money. However, I think we want to hold on to this one. Uh, I want to. I want to for science it. First things first. What kind of stuff have you got for sale? You've got unity candles. Must be placed on an item. Items this is played on are destroyed. On use adds one energy. Only one energy. Wow, that is a big ask for one energy. My goodness. All right, we've got a couple of things going on, but let's uh, go and see what the choice is over here first. Uh, hello. Huh. Right, well, you're going to add rage, you're going to add weak. Rage to all enemies is not something I'm ready to deal with right now, so I'm going to pop that up. Uh, we are going to use the battle ring once, uh, nay, twice. Oh no, I can only use it one time each turn, it seems. I could further buff this, or I can use it, well, using it twice is definitely going to be the play. Um, but for this turn, I'm going to use some extra defense. Right, now you're going to add the range, which I'm not a great fan of. Let's uh, add a little bit more defense, use you. There we are. Getting close to taking you out, and then this becomes a lot easier from that point onwards. Still taking the damage, though. Uh, at this stage... Yep, use this. That. Take you out of the running. We've got a clean burn. Once played on an item, removes 100% of all satisfacts on self. Items that are played on are destroyed, and then it destroys itself. Uh, I'm going to say... There is nothing here I want to use it on, so skip. Right, at this point, we are no longer going to be... A risk of taking too much damage but I do need to start healing through this uh, quite a lot actually uh, let's get a bit of extra protection you're going to be applying rage next turn so let's get rid of you and then I just have to be able to tank the incoming damage from you from that point onwards so once again 
Let's get all of that on the go. I don't need to add defense this turn. And we're just going to wallop you. There we are. Again, another item. No, that's okay. Uh, that's quite nice that we're, we're... Of course, yeah, the slime hat. I was going to say, are these enemies dropping something? Because obviously this isn't the thing that's clicking off. But no, the slime hat. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, 25 damage. I'm actually going to choose not to use this. And the reason why is because I want to heal. Now, it's going to take me a little while to do it. But we're just going to buff ourselves up basically for the next couple of turns so that when our turn comes it is genuinely an, an end all uh, attack so we're just going to keep buffing there we go there's no reason for me to defend right now uh i want i want quite a lot of regeneration going on i mean we are taking damage here so i do well i do need to actually be attacking i suppose oh right then fine We'll do that. We got a got a decent bit of uh, of defense from that one, but I I do need to remember because I I am very guilty for having forgotten that that's how that one worked, and uh, we are going to need a lot of defense coming in because that is just doing health damage, not not uh, uh, blockable damage, and I was not accounting for that. All right, that's fine. Nothing there that we really want. What do we've got? We've got experience, and that is the thing that I want more than anything. There we go. Right, at this point, I should be able to level up, should I not? Can I not? There we are, level up, yes. All right, we've got three spaces to play with. Uh, let's go with all of these. There we are, done. Now, that means you're going to levitate, which is not exactly something we want. Let's pop you down there. There we go. That gives us a couple of spaces to play with. Uh, in fact, well, no, that, this needs to stay up there somewhere. There we go, that's fine. Right, gonna go and grab some health. Thank you ever so much. Let's see what we've got down here in the advance. Come here, let me pinch your cheek. What do you need to, though? Um, sure. Let's see what we get. Fortune favors you, and a legendary item appears at the base of her staff. Lucky, she says. Wow, another wet zone. Really, if we'd only had that poison wet zone. Can we use one time uh, each turn? Weapons in this row get plus one weak this combat. Absolutely glorious. This is becoming bonkers powerful at this at this stage. Okay. Uh, again, if we'd only had the poison. If we'd only had the poison. Right, got some incoming poison which we do need to defend from. Let's build you up. Um, let's get the defense on the go it's not going to quite be enough and this turn I need to be healing through this but um, yeah I, I need the healing to happen so let's just get the hit there we are I could use one of these potions and that might be worth my time we'll see and want to take you out because you're going to hex me and that's going to be uh, an increasing problem. Weary, when total when 50 damage is dealt, we'll react with a big old block. Oh, and that, we will eventually get up to that, sure, but that's going to take me some time to get to. Uh, especially considering I'm having to do this just to heal uh, through the incoming damage. At least this we can use for free, though. Uh, right, so we're doing 11 damage now. Well, we're getting there. But we are going to need a little bit more defense soon. Uh, I could get some weak, but weak isn't the thing that we need right now. So right now, I just need the healing that we're doing. And we need to, to constantly be increasing that healing. Because now I'm having to heal through quite a lot of incoming badness and sadness. Let's pop that up there. Right, that's a lot of incoming damage, my lord. Uh, ooh, okay, right, let's get some better healing going on. But um, oof, that's a big oof. Very tempted to add even more block. Uh, or go for the debuff potion. I, what are we going to get for this? Dodge potion isn't the huge thing for me, so I am going to use that. Oh, and we get a present. Nice. Uh, all right, that, that brings this into a much more tolerable limit. In fact, we're just straight up not going to have to worry about the incoming damage now. And it's going to take a while for that to wear down. So we've got a few turns breathing room for now. But that was that was desperately nasty. 
I would also like to add a little bit more damage to the, uh, the staff here. There we go. Should be finishing you off in uh, two turns. You're going to drop another big hex on me, which is not great. Let's get that going. There we are. On the plus side, that hex is going to cost me nothing to get rid of shortly. And this is still allowing us to have everything active, which is nice. So I can get rid of that for nothing. Uh, um, wasn't expecting this, not going to lie. Don't want it either. But thank you. <laughs> oh, my lord. Right, let's get rid of you. That stops being a problem for us then. Oh, okay. I will absolutely take that for each row below. Some passive block. Thank you very much indeed. Right, there we go. At this point, we are now safe. And as long as I keep attacking, I will survive this. We're up to 24 damage on this. And it heals for 7 hit points each turn. But uh, yeah, this, this, this was getting into dangerous territory. I'm not afraid to admit. Actually, I should have used that first, but oh well. There we are. We will use you, you, and then which of the... Well, we're going to take a bit of damage if I don't take one of you out. 26 damage. I do 26 damage, so sure, we'll get a little bit more weakness. There we are. Wow. Okay. That, I like it. You just tuck your head in. I, I approve. I actually approve. Right, so now we don't have to do the extra defense for this one, so that's fine. There we are. Now, I imagine you're going to uh, tuck back out of this in a moment. Or you're just going to keep adding that on. I'm not really sure. But uh, either way, let's uh, go ahead and continue to build up. I'm going to say some more weakness. We now apply three weak when we attack, which is actually quite glorious. So even further, don't need to worry about the incoming damage there. And once again, continue to build up our ability to heal. At this point, we regenerate 10 HP per turn. I don't think we need to add any more HP onto our staff, frankly. So we're not going to. Uh, we're going to use these instead. And then just wallop you. And you've got only 14 damage incoming. You, uh, the next hit is going to, well, kill you, actually. So I don't need to worry about that even slightly. Uh, but let's continue to build up the staff. Womp. There we are. And what did we get? Um, hello? Oh, right, right down there. Uh, don't need it, so we'll skip. That's fine. Right, you can uh, take your best shot. I've got an item over there that I don't particularly care for. That's fine. And womp. Right, yeah, I guess I could have taken it, I suppose. Uh, but we were going to get extra. Oh, my lord. Paladin's sword. Also, more, more uh, help there. We can uh, put in another leather cap. In fact, if we do... Ooh, now this one's becoming a tricksy one. To decide where to put everything. Adjacent and diagonal armor gets plus one block, so that'll only affect these, but uh, this is looking nice. Ten, seven, seven, three, and on you seven. That is looking very, very nice. Uh, do I want any of these? Uh, no, not really. No, we've already got a present, so I think we're going to just keep hold of that one. Uh, and I will keep hold of it too, just in case we come upon someone who needs a present. My lord, these hexes, their vile magics, I disapprove. Uh, but at this stage, we're actually out passive blocking, which is quite, quite lovely. Uh, I'm going to go for extra damage here. There we are. Uh, now, on the next turn, we will, of course bump up again a little bit more damage so we should be able to take you out without too much concern you are going to try and run away but we're not going to let that happen i need to get at least a couple of turns worth of, of uh, healing whetstone going otherwise big problems for me oh wow <laughs> well i guess i don't kill you because you're going to run away oh that's that's actually not what i wanted damn you mistletoe oh well i got experience i suppose that's not terrible um Hmm. Okay, which way do you go? Create smoke puffs in this row. I guess popping you down there would be the better one, but I'm going to have to get rid of you because you're going to just be a, an issue otherwise. Oh, 
not a bad option there. Uh, but no, I'm not going to get rid of the uh, the item of the. Oh, I should have done that first. I was silly me. Well, that's going to disable one hat and my bronze blast breastplate. Not ideal, but I'm already regenerating through the damage that I'm getting passively there, so it's not the worst either. Um, let's go for this then. And we're just going to spend this turn just wailing on you. Uh, oh, oh, I was going to, but I, of course, used the, the point there. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I got rid of all of it. Uh, hmm. Well, I would lose my shield, but I'm not using my shield right now. In before I actually do need it now, but well, for now it seems okay. Uh, we'll get rid of you. Uh, spade cleaver, don't need it. Now this this is absolutely amazing. This would be fantastic for a for a build where you relied on destroying items for your damage. Absolutely glorious in every measurable way. Uh, at this stage, I'm just going to keep building up our damage potential here. Pop you down there again. I'm not going to make the same mistake. We're going to use this. We're going to use this. We're going to get rid of you. And ooh, ambidextrous glove. For each column to the left, plus 0 0.5. Each turn adds one block, but I can turn it the other way. Is there anything I want to get rid of? Um, because if I do that, then it's, uh, I imagine it's gone to the right, or so can I view the card? Oh! Oh no, never mind. Uh, it transforms weapons to the right to get plus one damage. Oh, actually, I kind of prefer it as a glove, frankly. Um, I think the weak is more important, though. I can't see that one being better than anything else I've got, other than maybe getting rid of this. Ah, but that's giving me so much block. No, I don't think so. We've got some... I could get rid of the present, but I refuse. I refuse. All right, let's just uh, buff up the uh, staff a little bit more. All right, this is going to be the last turn for you, I should imagine. So one and then two. There we go. Got rid of you. Let's get that item. We're going to just deal with that hex incoming. Uh, let's pop you over there. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Get another heal going. A little bit of extra damage incoming. And then just wade through. Also, that one can be gotten rid of now. Now then, that's actually quite a lot of poison that you've got about to apply. Uh, let's just get rid of you, shall we? So I don't have to deal with it at all. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is this is genuinely wild. The amount of stuff, the legendary stuff that we're getting. If this was any other run, this would be just glorious. But sadly, this is not the right stuff that I want right now. Uh, nothing here particularly needed. And what do we see down there? We do have to have that present. See, I told you it was wise to keep hold of it. Imagine how bad I would have felt. Here you go. And uh, we've got a shoe head. Thank you ever so much. And a Santa hat. For each festive item below, plus one block. Each combat adds luck. Each turn adds one. Well, now. Naturally, we're going to try and figure out how on earth I'm going to fit this in. Um, I guess technically I can put it there, yeah, sure. And uh, tonk, there we are. Okay, so two block each turn, and add to luck. Oh, this is lovely. Okay. Uh, I guess I could put this somewhere, but... <sighs> Do I need to? There are some items here that I want, I need to keep hold of. I don't need this, and at this point I'm starting not to need this. Well, this is giving me a nice uh, buff to my armor. If I shimmy that across, does it? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, give me a bonus there. It's just three items there, or three items there. It doesn't really help. Okay, I think I think we're going to keep this. I could get rid of the dark white stone, but we're not going to. Now right, let's go and see what we've got. What fight we have lined up for us? Uh, you need to be gone relatively soon. Uh, it's not not immediately, but soon. So, I think this and much damage should be good enough. Of course, because of the egg, I always need to spend at least the first two turns getting this going and then always be able to attack thereafter. Uh, this does 13 damage. Once again, gonna buff that up and whomp. Hi. Uh, please leave. Uh, when the blue hermit crab 
outgrows its shell, it explodes and it goes off in search of a new piece of junk to call home. Yeah, no. I desperately need you to not be on my team. <laughs> it's an odd thing to say, I know, but uh, here we go. Uh, you're going to do 28 damage. That's actually not going to happen as it happens. There we go. Uh, another shoe hat. No, I'm good. Uh, right. I could probably get rid of you. Auto shield. When damage is received, add four block. That's absolutely fine. Uh, let's build up a little bit more damage because then I can finish you off next turn. In just one go. Tonk, tonk. And womp. Don't need it. Well, as for you, yeah, we can just we can just start wailing on you at this point. We've got enough healing coming in. Four HP. We uh, actually no, we don't technically not with the uh, the two from the egg timer and the maximum coming in from there. But there we are. That's good enough. Jobs are good and uh, get items. What do we got? We have got a dark headband. When a wand kills an enemy, adds two mana to the connected mana network. We don't need that. Flame gen. Adjacent enemies get plus two burn. That we need to bring. Uh, the volatile potion. We've got the thread. We've also got the crisis. Well, what am I leaving behind now? Oh, damn. Damn. What do we need you for? We need that for fire arrows, which I actively want. Okay, well, I've got a lot of adjacent items here. I need this. I want this. Because otherwise, this doesn't serve any purpose. I also want to keep this, but the plus two burn is more valuable to me. So I'm going to just shimmy that across and just accept that I'm not going to be able to use that on this. But I'm keeping hold of it for, uh, for uh, research purposes. Uh, what do we got over here? Um, no. Eyes alone. No. No, we're not going to do that one either. All right, well, let's see what we have. Probably one's going to be a cursed chest. <laughs> yes, and one is... Oh, no, I was going to say the other is going to be a locked chest, but no, apparently not. Um, hmm, plus one block. This one's also plus one block. Uh, I mean, if I pop that there... There, yeah, just adds five per turn. Adds five per turn. Each row below plus one block. Adja oh, adjacent armor gets plus one. Never mind, never mind. That one is still the better helmet. All right, well, nothing here speaks to me. Uh, this one does a little bit because it can be used for research, but honestly, everything else here is already doing that for me. So I'm not too concerned. Right, onwards to the final. Or the finale, I should say. Enchanted Swamp Finale. My lord, this video has been a long time. Okay, so we've got an unknown event here and some things going on. I'm not going to forget this time. Or rather, I'm I'm going to know to do it this time. <laughs> Alright, let's use the battle ring. Uh, we're going to need a bit of lead up for this one. Uh, but getting that burn... I really wish I had more, more mistletoe. That would have been such a good build. Just gradually building that up. Uh, do I really want to get the burn on the go? Um... Yeah, I may as well get a bit of healing. That'll dampen the effect of the first turn there. Right, how much block do I have? I've got enough block to not worry about it. Perfect. Yeah, let's uh, just wail, get through this. Who do I want to go for? Let's take you out for now. The burn is nice, and I could keep adding that over time. And I don't believe you're going to summon anyone else in, but the question is what they're going to do do in the meantime I'm going to continue piling on some extra damage to the speaker cultist blade and then cultist these are not things that I'm too concerned with right now there we go. now you're going to apply weak which I disapprove of on a very 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 big level but you've all got dodge and I need that to go before I worry about it so we're just going to focus on the queen. Uh, sorry, on the speaker. There we go. I'll just tank the, f the four less damage. That shouldn't be too bad. And the dodge is starting to leave. Now you're starting to add in more damage that I dislike having to deal with. Uh, do I need much more healing? Yeah, I do need a little bit more healing, I would say. What damage level are we up to? We're getting there. Um, 
All right, let's let's start focusing on you. You're going to do nothing next turn, so that's actually not too bad. There we go. Let's see what you what evil plans you have. You're going to summon more people. Okay, so you're you're actually able of just summoning infinite amounts. That's kind of scary. Uh, all right, let's go back on that dodge. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for you. I should have gone for you. That was silly of me. Now I'm going to start taking damage. So I do need to uh, continue to build up my ability to uh, to heal. What damage are we outputting right now? We're doing 26. Need a little bit more than that to get you out of the field. There we go. We're back within tolerable limits for my passive block now. But we're going to have two people who are adding dodge to everyone, which I greatly disapprove of. Uh, you're going to summon someone else this turn. Uh, what are we healing for? Healing for six at the moment. I think we can forego adding more. For now. I am doing a lot less damage as well, which is unpleasant. Uh, we're doing 36. So I could probably take you out. Or, or get you close. Oh, actually, you'll die now from fire in the next two turns. Without, uh, it's actually, sorry, next three turns. Yeah, I need to need to keep you from from duplicating too aggressively. Uh, we're up to thirty six damage. I could get rid of you. That would prevent a bunch of block happening, uh, dodge happening. I think that would probably be wise. So let's get rid of that. Now I'm going to need to focus on you, or I could block. Actually, that's not a terrible idea. Um, that being said, I'm regenerating so much that I, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I think we'll just tank that. My, the, the week is building up, though. Oof. I have taken my eyes off that prize, and I'm paying the price for it at this point. Let's just get rid of you. Seven week. Oh my good lord, that's nasty. I wish you to not be alive anymore. Two of them. Nine week. No. No, I, I... Big nope from me. Big nope. I'm... You're going to die from the burn. Good. And you have changed sides. Okay, we have reduced the incoming. Let's see that burn happen. Perfect. You've switched sides again. That's okay. You're still going to do a whole lot of... Uh, of. Uh... Oh, actually, no. You're going to join my side. I mean, will you add weak to anyone? I don't think you will. Uh, nevertheless, let's continue to focus on this. We're up to 48 damage now, so let's uh, buff that a little bit more. There we go. You're going to die from the burn. We just needed time to build up the staff. That hasn't been too bad. Uh, it feels bad to use it on you, but uh, sure, whatever. Uh, the incoming damage now is actually getting a bit scary. Uh, I need a little bit more damage here. Thank you. Punk. And also punk. There we are. Not too bad. We're finally in a position where I can kill the ads with a single blow. Let's continue building this up. Uh, we don't need more health. And honestly, I don't need to do much else than just wallop you three times. There we go. I'm not going to pick that up. Thank you. We have won. Uh, we got nothing out of it. Right, let's see. Okay, we've got a, an unknown event here, but also a chest of valuables. Let's go to the unknown event. Hello! Oh my god, I've been looking for you everywhere, Tote. I've been looking... <laughs> quite so, Purse, quite so. I've been looking for you. I have something for you. My totem. Please let me see it. Strange, I've never sent so much magic from a mammal. Or is the backpack... Uh, is it the backpack you carry? Is it enchanted too? Yeah, this backpack is like super magical. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I didn't know that there was more than one. Is it powers different from mine? Where'd you get it? How long have you had it? What about... Calm down, Tote. Calm down. Let's take this one step at a time. I hate to be this person, but you gotta show me what you're made of. What, Tote? Really? Okay, we'll get demoed on how how Tote uh, fights. So, Spiky Hazard. When your turn ends, hurts. Deals three damage yourself. On use, destroyed. And uh, Stump Hazard. Each turn adds seven block to... Seven block to enemy. On use, destroyed. Oh, right. It's, it's talking about... Tote. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Right, let's uh, build up some healing and some damage. Whomp. Still gonna take a bit, but uh, pop one there. Not gonna use that. Not gonna use this. Go. 
<sighs> Why, Toad? You scoundrel, you. Um, and seven blocks of enemy. Got to get rid of these. Uh, hurts. Deal three damage to stealth. Unless I get rid of them. Wow. You absolute scallywag, you. I greatly, fantastically, enormously disapprove. I need to get rid of him. Uh, can't pick it up, so I'm going to skip that. Get rid of that one, too. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so Tote is just going to mess me up. <sighs> if I die to Tote. I guess I'll pop that one over there. So I can at least still use this. Oh, my lord, really. Why, Tote? Why? Why have you got to be this person? Okay, I'm just going to take a lot of damage. Um, but it's clear to me this is going to be a, a war of attrition that I need to win. Uh, I need to keep stacking this up. You're not going to apply anything more to me. That's fine. And, oh, does this go... It's damage, not to health. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so that that's calmed me down a wee bit. Oh, I should have uh, built up on that, but that's fine. Uh, ooh, that was nice, because, of course, multiple hits stack multiple burns. Uh, where are we going to stick all of this? I guess one there. Do I want to... No, I... Well, hmm. I suppose I will put one here. And then I've got this as well. To, oh, my lord. That's fine. Tote doesn't actually do that much damage, so... Um, but these do... They're actually going to be a problem. 22 damage there. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, that's that's breaking through my block at this point. And I'm not getting all of my block anymore. And I definitely need to reduce the amount of defense you're getting. I should have gone for that one, actually. Um, I can't use this because I've covered up my mana stone. That's fine. We just need to keep the, the fire on the way. But I desperately need to get my own block uh, going back up. All right, so get rid of that. Ooh. Possibly. What can I get rid of in exchange? I don't need the luck. Thank you. I will absolutely drink this, and then I'm going to... Oh, I... Uh, hmm. Have I got anything to use now? Uh, gonna get rid of this so I've got more block on the next turn. I'm going to need to hit you with this so I've got a bit of healing coming my way. Then increase the damage on my staff. Alright, getting back on top of things. But this is a humongous pain. Now, where am I going to place you? I'll pop it there. I need to get rid of that so that you're not getting as much block anymore. Uh, right, going to want some extra healing for me. There we go. Up to 7 burn damage now. And the staff is up to 27 damage. But damn, Tote, you're absolutely wrecking my ability to do anything right now. It's kind of scary how effective that is. Uh, I'm not going to be using that this turn. Uh, I would still like this, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, how does this work again? On use, uh, plus one damage is combat. I mean, technically I would lose the incoming damage, which I'm okay with losing. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, get rid of one of these. I would like to hit you. There we go. Buff again. Also going to take out some of the incoming damage. Uh, let's get rid of that one. There we go. I know this means I'm going to still take damage, but I want my staff to continue to build up some dam damage on it. All right. Uh, get rid of this so you're no longer getting all of that protection. I actually want to start building this up again, but right, let's use this. And again, there we go. We are almost certainly going to win this, but my lord, the incoming damage is terrifying to me. Uh, I actually think we need to win this this round, in fact. Otherwise, that's it for us. Uh, where do I want to place this? I guess I can place it there. It's fine. All right. Once. Oh, no. 
Oh no, we lost because it still ticked the damage to us on the end of our turn. Even though I hadn't used up all my energy. Game, that's so unfair. Oh man, that sucks. I, I was going to use the remaining two energy to get rid of some of this. Well, choose an item to save. Nothing selected. That is so remarkably unfair because we did win. Uh, I guess we'll grab that. I can't see. We're having a conversation with Toad. I think we still win with Toad. That is such a backhanded victory. I, I, we can't see the story. <laughs> I will have to report this to the devs because I'm fairly certain that was not in the intended outcome there. Uh, we could retry. Ah, uh, look, okay. I feel that's only fair. Oh no! <laughs> we don't. We don't win with Toad. Well, I thought it was going to just allow, allow me to retry that one battle. But apparently not. Okay, then. <laughs> not the outcome that I was expecting, frankly. We had so much awesome stuff to take back. But here we go. Uh, I guess uh, Tote absolutely demolished us. We had only one source of healing, and that was doing damage. Uh, but Tote was able to output nine damage stacking nine damage a turn now we were able to get through that for a little while i i still feel quite hard done by there given that tote was able to like once we defeated tote it ended our turn despite having energy left because the the ideal use of that was to get rid of some of the incoming damage or use my shield for the remaining two energy to just deflect some of the uh some of the um the uh, brambles because that would have what gotten rid of four and two-thirds of a fifth brambles worth of incoming damage before dealing with my passive armor as well uh, that is such a shame but oh well live and learn I guess for the next uh, battle then we're just going to be trying again I hate to leave it on a loss like that but I guess that that's gonna happen now and now and then I will let the devs know that that was a bit of a bit of an unsatisfying ending as well like it it felt like the loss was was um, how should I put it defeat snatched from the jaws of victory but uh, we'll see how all of that will go in the next run. But let's uh, find out what Matthew would like to give us. Hey, sure, we'll grab another relic this time. We'll see uh, what we get. We have got uh, something I can't actually carry, an alloy. If you would take five or less damage, uh, reduce it to one. Actually, that would have been perfect because it would have meant each one of Tote's effects would have been completely blocked. Is this the run? I don't know. We'll, uh, it's a bit of a bold move because I'm going to have no... No defense in order to bring Tote's totem. Even though that leaves a bad taste in my mouth at this point. Well, we'll see how this goes. But with that, I hope you enjoyed this one. Hilarious defeat at the end, notwithstanding. And I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.